Hey, what's up everybody, Disturbing Creations here. And today I'm gonna show you how to put the main computer in your Hyundai Tucson. This is a 2.0, but it also fits for the 2.4. So pay attention to the video, it's electrical, we can't be messing this kind of stuff up, very expensive. I couldn't get one from the Hyundai dealership. They wanted $1,800 did not come with a flash and did not include the labor. So it would have probably been around $2,500 for everything. I got one on my business account through eBay for $145 and it was already tuned for the exact same car and it works great. So this is the ECU I just got in the mail. Um, I called Hyundai uh, for this Tucson and they wanted $1,776 for this, this piece of metal in here because there's microchip in it and there's microchip shortage. And they said they didn't even know if it would be flashed or if I had to pay flash and an install fee. So we were probably looking around three grand. I got this one with a guarantee on it and I paid with my um, business account through PayPal. So everything's insurance, uh, 150. And it's already got the flash. It's the same year, same vehicle. So what we're gonna do is, since we got that code P0601, bad ECU, borrow, we're gonna put this in. Then I'm gonna show you where this is in your car. And I'm gonna show you how to install this very easy so that you can save, I, I think this guy's gonna save like two grand, you know, $2,500 by me doing this for him, you know? And and th this is just amazing. So it came with this wrap, I just opened it up. It came came from the, the eBay, I just I just got home because I got the, uh, the notification. So let's get out there. I'm gonna show you where this is in the car, uh, in the truck, and then we're gonna get right into putting this in. All right. So we're outside with the new ECU at the uh, Hyundai here. And this is the one that I just showed you inside that came in the box. And um, <clears throat> this is where it's at right here. So if you look at your headlight right here, just look forward back, you see the battery. And then right behind the battery is the ECU. So before you disconnect any of this stuff, always remember, we gotta do what? Disconnect the battery. So we're gonna disconnect the ground. Remember ground always goes to metal. We're gonna disconnect the ground. We're gonna wait 15 minutes. Then we're gonna pull this out and it looks like there's four tens. One, two, three, four. See right here? One, two, three, four. And two connections. And we should be ready to go. I'll put the battery back on. So I'm going to undo this cable right here right now. When I do that, I'm gonna come back in 15 minutes I'm gonna push this little button down and pull this up. And I'm gonna push this little button down and pull this up and move, remove these two connections from the ECU. And then I'll show you where all the bolts are right here so you can get down under there. So I'll be right back. So I took the ground off, or ground goes to metal, and waited 15 minutes. And then I took these two plugs out on top here. I closed the plugs back up and I slid the little wire through here and rested it on this uh, overflow for the master cylinder. So they're out of the way. So you see what the plugs look like and it matches the new one. And then now we have to get these tens out. So I'm going to try to take the whole thing out with one bolt down there and one bolt here and see if the whole whole plate will come out and then I can take it off this plate and put the new one on and we'll be right back. So I just found out quickly um, that you have to take the battery out completely because the bracket bolts are 212s and they're down here. You see where I have the 3 8 socket and the extension and a 12 millimeter and this is the set other one here. So take this one out and this one out and then if you follow up right here the bracket there was a 12 right here and i took that off as well and this whole plate will come forward 
and then you can take this off and remount the new one and put it back together. And when I pull it out, I'll show it to you guys so you can see what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those um, 12s ratcheted out. So here's the two computers. This one's still bolted in with the mounts. And I'm gonna take these bolts out, one, two, three, four, take them out off the bottom and put it on this one, the used one I got. And then we're gonna put it back in here and put the one piece here and the two 12s and then the battery back in. So um, I'm gonna take this apart and I'll show you the new one when I'm about to mount it back in. So this is the backing plate, but I want you to see that the nuts are welded on. So you don't want to mess around, like try to rip these bolts out, you know, cause who cares, you can get new bolts, but if you strip the nut on the back, you're kind of donezo. You know what I mean? You have to tap that or get another one. And there's, all four of them are on. So we would, we're gonna flip this over and then we're gonna put the new computer, we're gonna match it up. And I'm just going to take the bolts and put them in, tighten them all up, and then put it back in. And I'll show you guys what it looks like back in before the battery's in. All right, there's the new one back in. You see I plugged these back in and pushed them down to the clip. Now the clip is up. We returned the 12 here and the two 12s down here. And everything is good. Now I just need to put the battery in, turn the car on, and there it is. This one, it seemed pretty easy. Uh, a lot of these you do find in the engine bay now, but sometimes you can find them under your dash, which are a little harder. So um, I hope this uh, taught somebody how to do this yourself, save a lot of money. Um, the, I saved the customer about $2,500 just doing this, not even this alternator job too, you know? So, all right, man, thanks for coming to the Serving Creations. Um, can I get a like, subscribe? Um, we're putting out different cars all the time. Drive. Park. No more problem. I told you I'd fix it.